you know, for, for boxing. Shout out to Marlowe's Corner Tracks and the whole block fam. Hands up to Marlowe's Corner. Go over and subscribe. Subscribe to Marlowe's Corner too as well. Shout out to the LDBC. All right, so um, over the weekend, I was making my rounds on social media and on uh, different uh, boxing publications, sites, what you want to call it. And um, I noticed that Dillian White has uh, put out, I think it was a tweet, where he was calling uh, Deontay Wilder the biggest coward in boxing. Um, and I, I guess to to some fans that, that makes sense, but to me it, it makes absolutely no sense in the world um, because Deontay Wilder, you know, is a guy who uh, fought guys he didn't have to fight that no one else wanted to fight. And mainly I'm talking about Luis Ortiz. Um, back when another champion was avoiding that man and he was his mandatory. But anyway, this whole this whole thing, this whole charade about Dillian White somehow being some threat to Deontay Wilder and Deontay Wilder so somehow avoiding him, you know, that whole deal all came to light behind Eddie Hearn pushing out Dillian White in front of Anthony Joshua as a barrier to keep Deontay Wilder from getting Anthony Joshua. I mean, that was like three years ago. And that was long before Dillian White ever became, moved up the ranks in the WBC and became the WBC mandatory, which he just became a late part of last year, right before his suspension um, due to the um, adverse finding with the drug test. So he was only the mandatory for a period of uh, a few days, maybe a week. Um, prior to that, he was the number one contender, but never the mandatory because Dominic Brazil was the mandatory prior to Dillian White ever becoming the number one contender. All right? But that said, Wilder said way back then, if, if Eddie, if you want me to fight your second tier heavyweight, Put your number one heavyweight on the contract. Let the winner face Anthony Joshua. And I'll sign that contract to fight Dillian White. He said they, they offered Deontay Wilder, uh, and this is nothing official. This is just a verbal offer. They said they would give Deontay Wilder like $5 million to come over to the UK and fight Dillian White as the champion, just like Charles Martin did to fight Joshua as the champion. And basically, Deontay Wilder said, "Well, if you going if you want me to do all that, give me seven million dollars." Eddie Lab said something along the terms of, "Uh, yeah, I, he was like an eleven-inch cock or something along those lines. It just ain't gonna happen." So that that took that fight off the table. Wilder also said, Wilder also said that um he. Doesn't chase peasants. He wants to chase the. He wants to fight the other king. He acknowledged Anthony Joshua as the king, as the other heavyweight king, and said he wanted to fight him. Every barrier that could be put in front of that fight, put in front of the fight, it never happened. And then we go back to that. All of a sudden, Dillian White, Dillian White, Dillian White. Well, Dillian White said he was, you know, the mandatory when he wasn't. His fans said he was the mandatory when he wasn't. Eddie Hearn said he was the mandatory when he wasn't. And they started this 600 days campaign and all of that nonsense. At this point, Wilder will get to him when he gets to him. The WBC automatically already had put situations in place that would have made Dillian White um, the automatic mandatory. Dillian White refused those opportunities. He turned down the Luis Ortiz fight. Dominic Brazil offered him a fight for the mandatory position. He turned that fight down. Um, I don't want to hear anything else about it. As far as I'm concerned, Dillian White is the biggest crybaby in boxing, and he has no place to call anybody anything other than a, a, a superior athlete or a superior boxer to him until he can prove otherwise. You know, the, the thing is, I've noticed that even the people who have been clamoring over the years for Dillian White to get a shot at Deontay Wilder are coming to the realization that Deontay White, I mean, Dillian White has very little chance of beating Deontay Wilder. And they're just, you know, basically, it's, it's a sympathy thing at this point. 
Well, we, we, we feel like he really deserves a shot. Well, he, he's going to get a shot in his ass when he gets in that ring. Um, I hope the fight happens sooner than later. Um, and I, I expect, I fully expect Dillian White to be stretched out. But I'm sick of Dillian White running around here crying. I'm sick of his fans crying. Half of them aren't even really his fans. They just hate Deontay Wilder. And they, they don't want Deontay Wilder to fight Anthony Joshua anyway. So anything to get in front of that, they're all for. But um, like I said, I'm just sick of Dillian White crying. He needs to, um, you know, he needs to do the things that he has to do to put himself back into um, good favor in the sport of boxing. Things don't look good for Dillian White right now. But I hope Deontay Wilder goes ahead and blesses him with a title shot and um, or the WBC mandates. However it plays out, I'm, I'm sick of Dillian White and ready for him to go away. That's all I got to say about it. D-Lo 404 Boxing, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.